What it do, bedtime crew? Bedtime in the building, man. I'm back with another video. I'm decided to jump back into my shoes as the best matchmaker on YouTube because, you know, I'm already the best predictor on YouTube. I said, watch out for the up kicks and the hooks of Charles Oliveira if you're Benny. And I said he'd lose if he got rocked beyond recovery. Obviously, that meant that happened. Crazy fight to see, but hey, man. Don't be coming in my DMs talking about, oh, what happened, blah, 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 blah. I am not fucking Lucas Tracy, bro. I'm not Guru, respectfully. I did not say that Benil Darius would destroy Charles Oliveira. So don't come in my DMs like I fucking did. All right, because I'll fucking chin you, bro. I'll go fucking Mike Malott on you, bro. I'll fucking guillotine you, dude. All right, moving on, though. I'm going to be doing the best fight night main event you can make next year, all right? Or in the next couple months, right? I don't know what I'm going to title this. But these are the most exciting fight night main events that you can make in every division, in my opinion. The most realistic options, okay? So there's no Chumaya, there's no O'Malley, there's no fucking, you know, guys that will never fight on a fight night. You know what I mean? Starting things off in the flyweight division. I want to see a matchup with some hype, with some trash talk. With some crazy high level grappling especially. And the likelihood of a finish is very, very high. So in the flyweight division, I want to see Brandon Royva versus Mohamed Mikhaev. Now I know that these two are 20 miles apart in the rankings. And real UFC fans know what I'm referencing when I say that. Um, you know, But I think that this fight has a high likelihood of happening at some point in the UFC. Because I don't think Royval is going to win the title respectfully. Um, I like Royval. He's one of my favorite UFC fighters. I don't think he wins the belt. I do think Makayev will get a treatment kind of to get up towards the belt. And I do think this is a fight that the UFC would make eventually because Makayev's been calling him out. He's been talking trash. He's been doing the classic like Ryan Hall move where he's like, oh my God, everyone's fucking ducking me. And it's like, no, dude, you're ranked number 13. No one has to fight you yet. Um, they can get title elimination bouts. Why would they fight you, bro? Shut the fuck up, dude. Um, but yeah, I think that's gonna this fight's going to happen eventually. And there's beef there. There's grappling exchanges in this fight would be fucking crazy as well. Imagine the finish that could probably happen in this fight. Either you get like rookie prospect gets it humbled by Brandon Royval with a crazy knockout or a submission or some shit. Or you get Makayev like finishing him and just like, damn, this guy really is for real. So I feel like either way, this would be a really entertaining fight that I made event to do. And I would love to see the flyweight division get some more main events because they've got some really good guys at the top. And th these two are the most exciting guys in my opinion right now, besides Manel Cup. Um... And Matt Schnell, he's pretty exciting too, all right? Moving on to the bantamweight division. Now, this one is one that I don't think a lot of people would pick. I think if you got 99, no, I want to say 99%. I'm going to say if you got, you know, 10 YouTubers to make this video, I'd say at least seven of them. Their, their bantamweight pick would be Marlon Vera versus uh, Cheeto. <laughs> Marlon Vera versus fucking like... Song Yudong or some shit, right? And that's, those are good fights. That's an exciting fight, you know what I mean? But I'm thinking technically what's the most, like, exciting matchup in my opinion? The most, holy shit, this is going to be a brutal fight. And there's going to be hype from the bell. Um, not necessarily in terms of name value. Jesus, what happened to my browser? Best YouTube, best editor on YouTube. Anyways, I think this would be the more exciting matchup in my opinion in terms of the actual fight. I want to see Adrian Yanez versus Jonathan Martinez. Five rounds. The two probably best pure strikers in the division. Um, that's that's a fucking crazy thing to say. <laughs> but dude, I think that Adrian Young is probably one of the best boxers in the division. His power in his hands is crazy. His speed is insane. And Jonathan Martinez, his kicks are brutal, dude. He's got good speed as well. I think this would be a really high pace, really fun fight to watch. And makes sense ranking-wise as well. If both of these guys can get one more win, I think this would be a really exciting, like... UFC San Antonio main event type thing or you know a Houston main event um, I think this would be a really fun fun fight to see for five rounds and I really want the UFC to make this fight at some point dude all right moving on to the featherweight division now the featherweight division is a bit scarce at the moment um, I think if Nate Lamware had beat Danny Gay he could have got a, a really fun fight against maybe a Korean zombie or um, maybe a Giga Chikadze but now that he's lost, I don't think he, he's going to get a fight name main event. I think in his next fight, he should fight Alex Caceres, to be honest. I feel like that's the fight they'll probably make. Um, Caceres versus Landwehr. Or maybe Landwehr versus, like, I don't fucking know. Duho Choi or some shit. I don't fucking know, dude. Maybe J dude, Jack Jenkins versus Nate Landwehr. Oh, fuck, I really am the best at this shit. But in the featherweight division, this fight I want to see. I want to see Yair Rodriguez versus Giga Chikadze. Give me this fucking fight, dude. Give me what I want, all right? I made this fight. 
One of the first videos on this channel, I said the most entertaining fight you can make in every division. This is it at featherweight, dude. Tell me you don't want to see these two absolute crybabies fight each other, dude. This would be such a fucking banger, dude. Put this in the apex just because I want to hear their kicks against each other. But yeah, I think this is going to be a good fight. This should be Yaya's first total defense when he, when he finishes Volkanovski at UFC 290. Um, inshallah, brother, watch. That's going to happen, dude. Yeah, he's gonna sub him, bro. But yeah, this should be his first title defense versus Giga Chikadze. All right, calm down in the comment sections. You know, I'm fucking trolling. All right, lightweight division. This one makes a lot of sense after UFC 289. My boy Benny. All right, I'm spinning the block for Benny, bro. I'm coming for Oliveira, dude. But you know, Benny got KO'd bad, bro. He needs some time off. Another guy that's fighting uh, pretty soon that I think is gonna take a short break and maybe come back end of the year December or maybe early next year. I think this would be a really good fight to do in the lightweight division. Realistic fight that could happen. I want it to be five rounds, but the UFC will probably put it on the McGregor Chandler pay-per-view. I want to see Benil Dariush versus Jalen Turner next, dude. I think that'd be such a fucking banger main event, dude. I think the craziness on the feet. Um, I would love to see these two scramble with each other. I think Jalen Turner's size and his length would really help him. Uh, pause would really help him in the grappling exchanges, but Dariush is so fucking good, dude. And I think this is a really good uh, bounce back fight for him, to be honest. So I would love to see this main event happen. All right, moving on to the welterweight division. Okay, this is where another fight where maybe my personal biases kind of come in. You know, I'm a Yanez guy. Yanez is one of my top five favorite fighters, but at welterweight, one of my other top five favorite fighters right now, I think he's going to deserve a big fight next. And if it's not Gilbert Burns and it's not Jeff Neal, Maybe both of those guys kind of fight each other. That wouldn't be a bad fight. Jeff Neal versus Gilbert Burns. And if that happens, let's do this. Five-round main event. Shavkat Rachmanov versus Jack Della Maddalena. Inject this into my fucking veins, dude. Inject this shit like it's like I'm John Jones on a Saturday night, bro. Inject this shit, dude. I want Shavkat versus Jack Della Maddalena. Five rounds. Um, could put this fight fucking anywhere, to be honest. I feel like this would be a crazy good fight. And I really... Some some part of me dislikes it because it's like low quality right now, but some of me likes that the UFC is pushing new guys to big spots. And I think this is a really good way to do that. I feel like if the UFC puts all their, their kind of eggs in the basket, puts their their money behind Rachmanov versus Jack Del Maddalena and says, this is like the big fight. The winner of this is going to be the next champ, basically. You know, I think that would be a really, really fun fight week. And I think this would be such a fucking awesome fight too, dude. I think Jack Del Maddalena would KO him, bro. Fuck it. I don't care, dude. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm delusional. But, you know, it is what it is, mate. All right, moving on. Middleweight division. Now, there's a lot of killers at middleweight, dude. A um, lot of really exciting guys in a technical way and also in a street beefs you know put it in reverse terry type type entertainment you know like live leak type entertainment in the middleweight division i think the perfect example of that would be a five round african main event maybe in africa maybe in brazil i think you know who it's going to be i want to see Dricus duplessis versus paulo costa okay i approve 100 percent of this matchup dude i think this would be a fucking banger bro this would be an absolute war dude i think these two I'm going to get to swinging like your two uncles on steroids at the at the fucking family function, dude. And I think this would be a real, like a real bloodbath, to be honest. And I think this could go down as one of the best fights in UFC history. This is giving me Chandler Gaethje vibes. Take away some of the skill. Take away the cardio. Add power. Recipe for success. You're welcome, Dana White. This is, this is, this is going to go viral like power slap, dude. For all the same reasons, dude. Alright, moving on to the light heavyweight division, another really high skill division that I want to see some, some big fights in. I genuinely think this fight night main event should be happening next, but it's not. Um, but have no fear, bro, because I think this will end up happening at some point. Alright, hear me out on this. I want to see Alex Pereira versus Johnny Walker in Brazil, because I don't think Alex Pereira is going to beat Jan Blachowicz. I'll say it now, I think he's going to get KO'd by Jan Blachowicz, to be honest. Um, I really want to be wrong about that, but I feel like he's going to win. Maybe he will. Maybe he will win now that I've, I've, you know, my curse is back. Or maybe Lucas Tracy's going to curse me and pick fucking Blahovich as well and ruin my picks. Dude. All right. <laughs> but no, I don't think he's going to fucking get to the title, dude. So I think Pereira versus Walker is a likely matchup. It probably should be happening right now, to be honest. I feel like this is a way more winnable fight for, for Alex Pereira and a fucking really exciting matchup either way. 
You know, either Pereira KOs this dude into oblivion, or Pereira KOs this dude into oblivion, this other dude over here with the mohawk into oblivion. And either way, I'm fucking happy, dude. You know what I'm saying? So I think this fight needs to happen at some point. It will be such a shame if we don't get to see this matchup in the UFC, bro. I think this would be such a banger main event as well of a fight night, dude. Imagine this shit in the Apex or just in Brazil. It'd be fucking awesome, dude. All right, moving on. Last one. Heavyweight division, the pinnacle of skill. Um, the pinnacle of entertainment. I'm not going to drag this fight out because uh, this actual fight would last about 20 seconds. And I think that is a type of main event that we need sometimes. You know, not every fight night main event needs to be 30 minutes of heavy breathing. And, you know, Michael Bisping going, oh, look at this. Look at that. Oh, my word. You know, sometimes we can have a quick finish and just go home. You know, just go to sleep. You know, go, get on with our day. So, in the heavyweight division, I want to see Jarzinho, Biggie Boy, Rosenstrike versus Derek Lewis. The winner gets to go first at the buffet at the Apex. Okay. Huge implications in the heavyweight division. The winner of this will go get to go with Dana White to fuck it Friday and eat whatever they want at the buffet, dude. Um, huge implications. But no, dude, I think this would genuinely be a really exciting fight as long as it lasts, which is about 20 seconds, to be honest. And yeah, man, I think this is like the most exciting matchups you can make in every division. Let me know if you agree. If you disagree, comment your picks down below. What fights would you make in every division? If you got to make any fight night you wanted, what would you make? Um, let me know what you think of these fights that I've made. Who do you think wins? I want to hear all of that in the comments down below, boys. Um, let me know what you thought of UFC 289 as well, boys. I thought it was a pretty decent card. Not not the bad, not as, not as bad as I guess we thought it was going to be. Yes or no? more entertaining than UFC 288. I feel like that's pretty fair to say, more entertaining than 288. But let me know what you guys thought down below. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure you subscribe, dude. The channel is doing so good right now, bro. Um, we've gained like 300 subscribers the past two days, dude. I fucking love you guys. Um, go follow me on Instagram as well, at Bedtime MMA. Um, I just rizzed up Tracy Cortez and Mackenzie Doan on the same day, and they replied, bro. So go check my story, dude. All right, see you in the next video, boys.